Alright, so Alex versus Ness. Um, I'm not too surprised because... In, in the words of Austin himself, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to start playing Steve versus versus lame characters, and this has to be one of the lame characters he was talking about. Uh, it seem, seems to be a little controller thing going on. Uh, should wait. Um, let's go. What's going on? Uh, it looks like awesome. Let's go get something or, or, or whatever. Uh, gears. Hey. I, I, I mean, if you want to stay home for the Carol buffs, uh, you can. But if you want to test them out right here, fucking go ahead. I, I, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen the patch notes. All I know is the, some of the low tiers got buffed. Fuck is Austin. I was waiting for Austin because, you know, he drifted off. Yeah. But he's back right now. All right. Yep. All right. All right, game one. Alex versus Ness should be um interesting bracket. Not bracket, interesting match. Paradox starting with the quick combo. That, that would have been death if he uh, didn't uh, if he didn't um, PK Thunder. That would have been a very quick stock. Um, Austin right now trying to make a percent. Uh, anyway, his hand. It, it seems like a. It seems like Paradox actually kind of knows what to do with this matchup. Uh, PK Fire. Um, um, Austin trying to go for a little quick beat to start, uh, stack up percent, but it's not really going in his favor. The down smash on, I mean, up smash on the lane is going to take the first stock. Wade's looking right now, I think. I, it, it might be an early call, but I think Paradox has an early hold of this game, in this game one. I could be completely wrong. But he's playing pretty good. He's stuffing out all of Steve's options. Oh, uh, PK Fire is actually doing wonders for him. Uh, couldn't figure that one out. No character bias around here. Fourth row. Down. Up smash on ledge. Seventy. Only seventy-five percent on uh, on paradox. I, I can only really imagine how this matchup is for Snake, so... Yeah... Uh, I, I'm just gonna keep that one in my back pocket for now. PK Fire... Down Ooh, the... The Ambo's gonna take Paradox's first stock. Austin's gonna have a little bit of a lead to climb... Uh, to get back into this game. If he... If he just keeps playing a solid and stuffing out uh, Ness's bad options, he might be able to bring it back to la uh, last stock. But it seemed like the Paradox just not trying not to let that happen. Paradox right now is just keep playing keep away as best he can against Steve when you're running up the stock. Uh, Austin's just letting rip on that up smash. It, it, there it is again. Paradox trying to go for a drag down to end the game. 
Downer is going to take uh, Paralox's second stock last game, but Austin's at high percent. Could we see a reverse three stock? I, who knows? Austin's going to send back into ledge. What was that interaction? Backer, you're going to take the first game. Oh, I had to go play my match. Shit. All right, see you guys. Hello, gamers. Play some swerve on the mic. And we still, we still got. Uh, Austin and the classic Alex pick. I guess it's just his new main. I guess he doesn't want to play Snake anymore. I mean, but it's working out for him. You know, it was a pretty close game one, even though he uh, gets Paradox, a consistent contender. He gets a nice jab, little jab screen there. Oh, I think he lost his jump there, so this might be dangerous. Oh. Just barely misses him. Up, be just facing out. They're just playing neutral right now. They're just they're just feeling each other out right now. Then, because against both of these characters, you never want to overaggress. Because if you overaggress into Ness, you get mashed on. If you overaggress into Steve, you just get camped out. He gets his iron. That that could shake up everything. Once he gets iron, he just he's, he's already got diamond, which is very impressive. Because you're not supposed to get that first stock. I wonder if he saves it for the next stock or if he saves it up. I, I think he's probably just gonna hold on to it for now. He gets a nice little. Overshoot over the wall with his PK fire. That might be an actually really good tool in the matchup. I wonder if he's gonna keep just using overshoot PK fire to keep trying to get in. Still, just he keeps going for that overshoot PK fire because it just gets across all the walls. He gets he gets combos from it, and it seems pretty hard to deal with for Steve. He just kind of has to respect it. Tries to punish the inline on that, but it, oh, he gets a nice little, not even powered up cart kill. Oh, he's kind of stuck in the corner. Ooh, he catches his air dodge out. That was, that was a little bit, a bit of a scramble. Ooh, that's a really good DI. Oh, what a, that was a really good recovery from him. Oh, and then he gets the parry with the get him attack. And, you have so many frames to punish that. Get him attacks are super unsafe up here. You know, just like jab, space him out. Jab seems really good against like Ness. You just kind of boxing him the entire game. And then whenever, whenever uh, Paradox wants to approach him in the air, he just gets bared. He gets stuffed out. Paradox is going to have to find a way to mix up the timing of his approaches or he's just never going to be able to get in consistently. Oh, he's, just, he's, he's, he's using those like diagonal PK fires and they just, they just seem really good at just breaking zone. Oh, he's just spacing him out of there. He gets a nice kill. He might get a... Oh! Ooh! Catches him jumping out of a cart. Really good spacing for Paradox. Oh, almost catches that roll too, but he's a little, little bit off. He's just spacing him out. You never want to be in this position against Steve because you're just going to get camped. Ooh! Does he... Oh, I wonder when he gets off of this. Ooh! Paradox is getting a little scared. I wonder if he goes to back air here and maybe stuff him out again, or... Ooh, Paradox gets a little... A little greedy with that down smash. Maybe he the spot up, and then he runs up, and it's up smash. Sometimes he's just gotta run up and do it. Ooh. Catches him trying to forward air with Cart. Seems really good for just breaking through those, like, messes aerial spam. Not that Paradox spams. Like, Paradox uses these aerials really... Really deliberately, but that's gonna be really hard to get in, especially when you know you have to try to fight him in his domain, which is there. Just go for an Ubby, maybe try to read an air dodge. Okay, so now got him in the corner, but Paradox is fighting now at that forward air. He might get something off of this, but 
Oh, just kind of retreating. This is this is terrifying now because you gotta approach into Steve with Diamond and that's that's he might have to play it a little bit slower or he might just end up getting Jake smashed. Woo! This is a really this is a really rough situation. Uh, and he gets two frame by yo yo. You hate to see it. Well you, well you don't. So Paradox takes that 2-0. But it was a really close 2-0. You can at least tell the TO that. Yo. Now we have Starry and Poke coming up. I'm guessing Pikachu and maybe Cloud. This is what's it's always like Sora. Yo. The Poke Sora. Let's, let's go. I think it's Sora Pikachu. Maybe the closest Swordy matchup against Pikachu. I'm calling it. 